Hello Sagittarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Cache Tarot by... Uh, I've done this like three times, haven't I? It's by Top That Publishing. There's a website in the back of here. I keep looking, like I can't seem to stop myself from looking for like a creator, but it's just got Top That Publishing, so you can search it that way. Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by Jesse Reich, and then there's a Hay House website at the bottom. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out if you'd like to. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius? I feel like you're going to argue with me if this hits. Things are actually good, it just doesn't feel like it at all. It's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, they're actually, yeah, it does, everything's so, I am noticing how I'm doing this. It's so particular, so restricted. Like, everything is so particular and so restricted. Um, things are changing. I don't think of Sagittarius as being against change, but when you're losing something you liked and something else is being forced in, that's very uncomfortable. Okay, so a whole new phase coming in. This is not to your... You didn't want this. I keep getting that you didn't want this. This is not your idea. Sagittarius typically is not against change. But I'm getting the Three of Swords for you, don't like it. The world coming in, whole new change, whole new phase. Somebody might be leaving or something new is coming in, one of the two. It's either coming in or going. So either something is coming in, and it's like, I didn't really ask for that, or something is leaving, and I'm like, I don't really want that to leave. One of the two, something like that. Um, as this is happening, I feel like we need to get a little bit of clarity on what's going on for you here. You're, you're rolling with it. You don't really feel like it's right, though. It's kind of like, I'm doing what I have to do, but I don't feel like it's right. And there's a lot of stress around you, but you are definitely just kind of doing what you feel like you have to do. You're definitely doing what you feel like you have to do. Um, it, it's ironic to me that it's going to work out in your favor. It just, this is like, I didn't, I don't, this is not my choice. <laughs> I keep getting like, this is not my choice. It is going to work out in your favor, though. That's the painful part. Ironically, that's painful. Because I feel like you might be going into it kicking and screaming, just to be fair. Um, within respect to the situation, you know how that goes. Uh, it's it's difficult. And it's very, like, restrictive. It's very, like, you got to stay within these two lines. got to pay attention. you got to do it the same way every time. Um, the way it's changing, the new process coming in with whatever you have to do, um, it does feel like it's very boring for you. Okay. Can we get a little bit more about that card? The triggers are not, like, they don't feel right to me. It's kind of like, this is somebody else's idea of how it should be. Um... The thing is, you're going to mess that up on them, and they're not going to like that. Yet, that's exactly why this situation is going to succeed. Does that make sense? Did I say that right? Somebody else is trying to create a... They, they're doing boundaries. They're doing a new process. It's They're the ones deciding how it's going to be. You are definitely going to screw that up. That is actually a good thing. You're not going to feel like... You know, it's kind of like, well, if it's a good thing, why, why am I getting treated like this? It's going to feel like that. But literally because you're doing what you're doing and you're you're like, I can't live by those boundaries. I'm trying to stay within them. I just can't. That's why the situation is going to have success because it's going to highlight things. It's going to make changes. It's going to evolve the situation forward. Um, it's still stressful for you. <laughs> it's, it's not funny, but it's funny only in the sense of like, this is literally how the situation is supposed to work out. At, at this point, it doesn't feel good. I don't know if it's going to feel good later. Because I feel like you're trying to be a realistic, realistic about this. You're a very uh, important part of the system. You're usually very good at getting it done. Um, there is some anxiety here. 
I feel like you would. I feel like if this reading is hitting, you're going to argue about this card. The fact that people really, very much appreciate and like you, because it's. I keep getting like, well, it doesn't feel like it, and they're not saying things that make me. They're not saying things appreciative to me, um, but they do appreciate you and like you a lot. They just they're trying to control something that's uncontrollable. That's the thing. They shouldn't be trying to control you anyway, but that's a whole other thing. Um, I feel like this is going to take some time, and I feel like whoever this is is going to get to the get to used to the way you do things. They're still not liking it, but I feel like you're helping somebody else evolve forward and helping them treat people differently in a positive way. They're updating their processes. They're updating how they treat people, um, especially because even though you don't do it the way they want, it is still successful. It does still work out, and it works out better than it would have. And they they do understand that. They don't they're not gonna get comfortable with that process, but they're also realizing that sometimes it's necessary to move forward to advance. There's healing on their side, and I get that. It does seem like this I don't know if this connection will ever be comfortable for you because I get the moon card on your side. It's like I don't know where I stand, I feel insecure, but I keep doing what I need to do. The the compliments seem fleeting. The criticisms seem more demanding. Um, it is going well. It is. I'm cringing to say that. How long are you going to be in this situation? I, there's a good card here, but I'm tr it hasn't come forward yet. Oh. Um, eh, you're not in this situation forever. Um, at some point, this isn't going to work for you anymore. So, if this is a job, um, I feel like this situation will stay this way at the most for a year. And then somebody's going to go somewhere else. It doesn't mean you have to go to a totally different company. And maybe it's their, maybe they're the ones who are going to change. And maybe they're going to go somewhere else, either to a different part of the company or a different company altogether. If this is a work situation. But this isn't going to last forever. Whatever this connection is... Um, it's just not going to. Yet you do make a very positive impact here. Um, how is that coming in? Because I want, I'm, let's just do this. Seven of Pentacles on its side, which means um, deconstructing, reconstructing, a lot of taking things down and putting things back together. But in a planning type sense, like the process is going to be you know, taking apart, put back together, taking apart, put back together. It seems like that happens a lot. There's a lot of things that are unexpected. You're going to, whatever this is, I do feel like you are helping it evolve. The situation is not going the way it should. There should be some structure with it, yes, but it's overstructured, and I feel like you're highlighting that. Um, you do seem to have, if this is a business situation, I do want to say that you're going to have a lot of monetary benefits over the next year. Um... you are going to have a lot of monetary benefits. I feel like, you know, that's going to be what it is when it comes forward. Um, for those of you that this is going to hit in a social sense, um, I do feel like you're going to you're going to put up different boundaries in your own life. Um, I feel you advancing in the sense of like, you know what, next time something like this comes my way, it's not. <laughs> uh, so if this is a social connection, even if it's coworker which would kind of blur into the business thing, obviously. Um, however you got connected with this person, next time this starts to happen in your life, you're like, it's not. We're not going to be doing this. Um, there's gonna, you're, you seem to be reinforcing and redefining your own boundaries, just to be fair. There's a lot of good coming out of this situation. A year from now, I feel like you're going to be in a much better place because of what the situation did for your life. Um, I don't see you totally enjoying this while it's happening. Um, just, that's what I'm getting. I see it's stressful, but I see you succeeding too. That's the weird thing. Um, even though you're not enjoying it, and I feel like even after it's done, it's kind of like, it, it, you're definitely going to look back in the sense of like, well, I don't want to do it again. That's going to be for sure. Um...
you, you, you're helping somebody else advance and you're advancing at the same time. You got the five of wands on its side. Whoever this person is you're going to have a conflict with, I don't feel like you're going to have arguments, but I feel like we're going to have disagreement conversations, which you really don't care for. Um, there's also like, it never seems to get out of that energy, which is again why I'm not repeating it. Um, it's one of those things where I feel like you have to look at the situation itself and realize the situation benefited from how this went. You didn't like handling it this way. You didn't like dealing with a person like that. And I feel like you're done. You, I don't feel. I feel like you're going to reinforce your boundaries, redefine them, reinforce them, and you're not going to let this come in again. But it did have a lot of benefit. When is what you're going to see going back? It's. It, I feel like I, if you're looking back, I keep seeing your energy look back, going, I, I wouldn't do it again. Um, even though it worked out, even though it did do good things, I feel like I wouldn't choose to do it again. And that's fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Just to be fair, this is an interesting one because I'm like. Is there something I'm missing? Because I, I see a lot of good things coming. Sagittarius tends to be successful, in my opinion. Um, tends to, obviously. Um, is there something else that's... I'm not seeing... Before I close this down. Um, you're going to see more truth about how people work. And I feel like you're going to get... You're going to understand, like, why... People are controlling. Not so much that they are controlling. I feel like you're getting a little deeper in the subject, kind of like this is why they're controlling. They believe that like if you do it the same way, monotonous every time, you definitely will have food on the table at the end of the day, that type of thing. Um, like you're understanding why the survival part is there creating these processes. You're understanding that more. You seem to get to the root of it more. This person is telling you a lot of stuff. They're giving you more insight to their personality and why they do what they do. That does seem to help you in some respect going forward. You are definitely learning a lot about not like that. Again, it's not like, okay, that person's controlling. It's not learning that that person is controlling. It's learning why they're controlling. And I feel like if you're looking at it, hopefully that's what I'm supposed to give you here. It's kind of like to kind of realize that that's the point of this whole situation. To not learn that somebody is controlling, but to understand why and where that's coming from for them um, so that you can like see it coming forward and like m have a better way of like oh that's how they are I don't really match with that moving on or oh that's how they are maybe if I do this this and that and keep these things secure in this way where they can see it then they'll stay out of my way and we can keep that happy um, that might be an option for this situation really um, Understanding why that person, why, it's the why. Not the fact that they are controlling, but why and what means so much to them. And then securing that immediately might give you more leeway in the situation and might make the situation more comfortable for you going forward. I feel like that's what I've been missing. It just took a long time for me to get there, apparently. If you can, you're supposed to, at some point you will figure out the why. The sooner you figure out the why, the easier it'll be for you because you'll know what to do with it. And this, it won't be, I still don't see it like being super enjoyable, but more comfortable than you're used to. So, so it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> um, I'm just going to use this example. Hopefully this makes sense. So it's like, say a normal diet is 2000 calories a day, just for argument's sake, argument's sake. Um, and this person makes you feel when this starts, like you're eating a thousand calories a day. Or maybe a little less. By understanding the why, it releases it so where maybe you're going to feel like you're eating 1,400 calories a day, 1,500 calories a day. It's not quite what you, where you want it to be, but it's going to feel better. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully that's helpful. There we go. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're, excuse me, interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.